All right, so let's uh, proceed to the coding brief. As mentioned, we have a text of Friedrich Nietzsche, and uh, you can find his exercise in Francois Cholet's book. He uses various temperatures to compare them, and he uses LSTM. Whereas we only gonna uh, use one temperature, and we're gonna use the GRE. Yeah. The length of that text, in terms of number of characters, is about 600,000. Yeah. So the first step that we will do is we will cut that text into sentences of a length of 60 characters and we have three characters that don't overlap so there's going to be a big overlap except for three characters all right so if we divide this by 60 we know that we're going to have roughly 200,000 sentences or sequences and in the next step, we're going to de determine what the unique characters are in this text. And we're going to use this one line of Python code, and we'll find out that the number of unique characters in that text is 57. You have the 26 for alphabet, you have point, exclamation point, question mark, and so on. So there's more than 26. And then we're going to assign these uh, 57 uh, characters a unique index and we're going to use a dictionary for that so we'll create a dictionary where the characters are the keys of the dictionary and where the index is basically the value all right then we're going to vectorize our text yeah and typically what we have is we have all these sweet overlapping sequences here and we have the corpus here yeah and we have a depth of 57 indices yeah so the depth of this matrix what makes it from 2d to 3d is that there is a depth of 57 unique characters so if we look at a 2d model here it's going to be specific for one character and uh, index 27 is a character a and so this is a matrix for the character A. So what we will do is scan through this whole matrix and everywhere where we see an A, we put a 1. All right? And this we will do for all these 57 unique characters. Next step, of course, is to, to build and run our model. We'll take a GRU with uh, the depth of the hidden state 64 our back size is also 64 and we'll use dropout as well as recurrent dropout and then of course we need to select a softmax temperature but we already did here it is one yeah and we will reweigh the softmax distribution yeah so the temperature that we have chosen will actually determine uh, where we are in this spectrum yeah so if we choose uh, the temperature uh, very low then we're gonna end up here right and it's not where we want to be if we put the temperature very high well then we're gonna end up here and it's also not where we want to be. We want to be somewhere in the middle. And now where is the middle? Uh, we don't know. Uh, usually you could do a line search for that uh, for various temperatures and look what the outcome is but I decided not to do this. Alright, so uh, we reweigh our softmax distribution and in this case we will use a multinomial distribution yeah it's like rolling a dice uh, where you do uh, one test and you check what the outcome is yeah um, and of course at the end we will select the index with the highest probability all right then we will uh, we will select a C text at random and start generating 400 subsequent characters to that C text. 
All right, let's uh, start with some coding.